Uh, thank you, Riley. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission is looking for partners in groundbreaking research. South Arkansas has not had a bear hunting season in 95 years, but that changes this December. If we've trapped your attention, Neil Zarang went on a bear hunt this morning and shows us how landowners can help. She's right there in that trap. Managing Arkansas's bear population is no picnic. In 1927, the legislature banned the hunting of black bears statewide. They were almost hunted out. But after bringing hundreds of out-of-state bears to the mountains, hunting came back to the Ozarks in the 80s. In 2001, the White River Delta followed. Here we are 20 years from that, and we're opening bear season in bear zones 3 and 4, which is the Gulf Coastal Plain part of the state. With the bear population now thriving, and to make sure the hunts return for good, landowners in 25 counties are needed. We're kind of at the mercy of those corporate landowners or private landowners to be able to come onto their property and catch these bears. Steve Partridge is one of the few clawing at the opportunity. It is exciting because I, I look forward to hopefully be able to take a bear and enjoy another, another type of hunting here in Arkansas. Each bear is given ear tags and a collar, but they're also known by name. This one, Charlotte, and it's the fourth that's been tagged this year. Previous callers only had a radio signal with no GPS capabilities. We have no idea where the bear is. But now they receive four location updates each day. Program coordinator Myron Means hopes to tag 15 adult females before hunting season starts December 10th to see how location affects population. Mountain bears, an adult female like this may have a home range of six square miles. Down here, it may be double that. It may be half that. We don't know. But soon they may get their paws on the answers, thanks to bears like Charlotte and others returning to the wide, wild Arkansas world. That is positive. That's big positive, right?